society changes. You know, nothing is ever the same as it was 10 years ago, five years ago. It's not a question of whether one uh, era was better than another. Many, many of today's children just do not have that kind of opportunity of self-expression. I believe that their innate capability to, to use the mind, to expand the night, ought to be encouraged in whatever form. We sent letters to over 400 schools physically. We got some to register online and some schools preferred to submit at our office. They were invited to Freedom Park for the interview. The interview oh, was um, for three days. Yes, we did an interview for three days and they were in batches. Batch one, batch two and batch three and we cover all the participants. The first thing they did was to register. The second was to sketch whatever they want or they know about the road to Sambisa. And of course, they were calling one after the other, some in groups, because if you come, for those that are, they are about over two in their school, they were called together and um, they faced the panel. The criteria for the selection exercise um, were one, creativity, understanding of the topic, and the third was skill, and the fourth was appearance. I was nervous and scared of reading because I have a little stage fright, but as I read, I, the stage fright went off and the nervousness went up, so I was, I'm glad that I had the chance to do this. I think that I can get to the next stage because each time I talk, they, all, they nod their head in, in, in appreciation to what I say. What I care about is the fact that I was able to express my own opinion on this case. My experience with the judges was fun because I I learned more about Sambisa. I was here last year and I took fifth, but I'm back again. I'm here to win. My goal is to take this. We shall listed 62 participants for both category and the 62 finalists were presented officially by the end of January. The first category, which is painting, we are 31 and 31 from the literary arts. Oh, Sambisa, you were a game reserve, now a dungeon in the sight of the world. Sambisa, on that faithful midnight. These are the sugar girls here and these are the Boko Haram military men. These are the trees of the forest. So we all have to walk around and make sure. Are you afraid yourself? Myself. Boko Haram took the Shiba girls to the service forest because Boko Haram were known to have fortified camps, camps in the forest. The kind of topics we try to set them are not the normal kind of thing they cope with every day. People think, for instance, that children don't notice the corruption going on around them. For heaven's sake, they read newspapers. They see sometimes the peers of their parents being taken to court, ask questions like, what is corruption? The men, the, well, we have the theme, the many faces of Lagos, for instance, the thousand masks of Lagos, something like that, you know. That taught them. It infused in them the, the discipline of discovering things beneath what they'd always taken for granted. And of course, we come to this particular theme, which, I, which is very personal to me, very intensely felt by me. The road to Sambisa, the first thing we did was to find location for the road to Sambisa. We looked everywhere in Lagos. We checked Badagri, Ikorodu, Apapa. Finally, Lekki Conservation Center fitting into our package. We located that place and we found that, look, this is the place for this story to be told. The road to Sambisa in Lagos. So we started early in the morning. We had discussion with the kids on what to expect. They changed their school uniform into our t-shirts. They were fully branded, ready for the walk. It was an exciting walk. 30 minutes, they got inspiration from the long walk and they were so excited. As a matter of fact, they didn't want that walk to, to hang.
Welcome to the fourth edition of the Vision of the Child. Uh, this year promises to be different. As you can see, children are having fun. Even adults are not left out either. The venue is different. We are at the Lekki Conservative Center. It's so beautiful up in here, I have to tell you that. The road to Sambisa is not merely a physical road. It has to do with the failure of society. It has to do with other themes that they have tackled, like corruption. I want them to be able to know that the road out of Sambisa did not close immediately they were abducted. That there's a failure in leadership. It's unlikely we'll see that. But I'd be most interested to see how many of them did enough research to give us a multi-dimensional uh, picture of this, um, this really traumatizing event. They were divided into two groups, of course. The group yellow were the painters and the group red uh, were the, uh, the literary art group and they went straight into their various uh, studio ready for work. Uh, the reading studio, it was an emotional moment. I had a dream that the road Sammy saw experience very great transformation one day. Nigerians woke up to this horror on this fateful day when Nigerian students walked with shock and dismay as fellow students were whisked into this dark forest. April 14th, 2014 was a terrible day in Nigeria, especially for mothers of the Chibo girls. She had asked herself, what was the use of this education? It often seems stressful for the students and the teachers. San Pisa! San Pisa! Your road is like the one that leads to hell. Now, at the painting section, we, they started with um, sketches and, you know, a lot of patches together. Of course, nobody would be able to interpret what they were going to come up with at the end of the day. They came up with different sketches and we saw all the sketches on the board. And within a period of four hours, those sketches transformed to paintings. Behind 31 paintings were 31 stories. And each story was unique in their own right. High of the nation, and the High of the nation tells us everything that's happening around Nigeria. And inside the High of the nation are the Chibo girls. They are bound by a chain that restricts them from going to school, from being things they could have been in life. In my painting, this is the status of justice. And our, if our justice system is right, they wouldn't have gone to join such a corruption. My painting is trying to explain the team, the road to Sambisa. The leaves here are trying to show the road. They are going different directions because there is no specific road to Sambisa Forest. The tree represents Sambisa and the eyes represent the eyes of everybody. All the tears represent the sorrow the, this tree itself has, co has caused. This road here represents the road to Sambisa and there is a crack on the road so people will not be able to pass. I will continue to say thank you to Diamond Bank. When this project was presented to Diamond Bank, I was there myself. I was there in physical, and I had a presentation with the team in Diamond Bank, and they immediately saw prospects. And one of them said, look, this could form a kidney's account. I mean, this is really interesting and all of those. Within 72 hours, we got an answer from Diamond Bank that the project was doable by them. It was in the raw form. We didn't have anything to show to Diamond Bank that it's been done before. So, I'll continue to say thank you to Diamond Bank for coming all the way 2011, long journey up to 2015, and they are getting better and stronger in pursuing this particular 
uh, child development. This, the level of confidence and expression of mine gave hope that there is um, strong hope for the um, for the nation uh, if we continue to nurture the children and allow that creativity, God-given creativity in them to uh, muster. And uh, uh, if we fertilize it further, we, we, we see that uh, uh, they might be looking at, all, at our generation as a bunch of people who haven't done what they should um, do. And this year's uh, uh, topic, I am waiting to see what the results will be like. And I want to see how they have expressed it in arts. Uh, um, uh, uh, I, I, I look forward to it. It's very exciting. Believe me, I mean, when you see organization you walk into, I mean, I'm not talking about small, medium enterprise. We're talking about large organization. I mean, you, you, they have levels of decision from management, strategic to all this. I mean, you, want, you, you begin to wonder that, look, for a decision to be taken, it, it, it will have to go from one level to the other. I remember that I went to Honeywell to present this project, and I told them about it. In fact, the MD of Nodus, well, gave us a buy-in almost immediately that but however it needed to discover the management and was going to get back to me believe me within two weeks i got a yes that this this is a project they would like to identify with when this proposal came to be co-sponsor of this initiative we didn't think twice at all before we gave approval we want to nourish these kids so that they can go on to put their creativity and talent to use but above all, we also will be rewarding children who excel in this whole exercise. We believe this is a great initiative. This initiative that will help the society, it will help families, and we encourage a lot more corporate organizations to come and be part of this. About two years ago, I made contact to um, Microsoft, and what we're just looking at is to deploy information technology into all of this that we're doing. And as you know now, there is nothing in the world that can be done successfully without the deployment of IT. So bringing them in at this stage is to let the children know that these paintings can also form if, uh, 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 some apps that could be on, 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 their, on their tablets, on whatever medium, and then they could give interpretation. And of course, IT will be deployed in that area so we want to catch them young that it is the tool and microsoft is bringing this to the table oh uh, for eltel they got involved so late but they proactively approve our project that look let us join at this level watch and see and i'm sure they will see what would um, motivate them to be part of this project going forward thank you eltel Thank you, Diamond. Thank you, Honeywell and Microsoft. I am looking at um, regional vision of the child. I'm looking at vision of the child west, southwest. I'm looking at vision of the child north, north. I'm looking at the vision of the child south of Nigeria so that we can integrate the entire nation into uh, this project. There is, um, there is in, in, an initiative in children which should really be encouraged. That basically, instinctively, they don't like borders. They don't like to be excluded from experiences. And that there is a persistence in them if you encourage them.
addition, the vision of the child, my sister, my colleague, my co-knowledge of choir, my heart beats. I'm heading for the city, and that's my home. to us where we can't we can't help but congratulate them all right ladies and gentlemen in the first position tonight in the painting category with painting number two from ajara junior grammar school Badagri. ladies and gentlemen make some noise for 